One morning, a homeless man discovered a locked box as he woke up. For a small sum, he sold the box. But what happened next completely altered his life. A kind act can also reduce stress. It's a win-win situation for both parties. On a busy day, just by greeting someone, you can reduce your stress as well as the other person's within a few minutes. But it can also change your life forever. Carry out a random act of kindness with no expectation of rewards, safe in the knowledge that one day someone might do the same for you. Princess Diana Alex was well-liked among the local homeless population. People adored him despite the fact that he was usually always intoxicated since he constantly smiled and said hello to them. Hence, they offered him gifts occasionally. When Alex received such gifts, he typically sold them for low prices and used the money to purchase booze and food. Nobody was aware of how he got into the situation. He had clear speech and a well-educated sound. However, rumors said that he took to the streets because he was depressed after losing his job. Alex was also good with children. He always spoke kindly to children and teenagers who crossed his path and counseled them not to defy their parents. One day, while Alex was out for a stroll near a school, he noticed two youngsters being bullied by thugs. Even though he was drunk, he was still aware of what was going on. The hooligans were yelled at to release the lads or face his wrath, according to him. They mocked him, though, and inquired as to what he could do. Alex came at the men with a long medal and, without warning, cursing them. The hooligans then fled inside a nearby abandoned building out of fear for their safety. The two guys Alex saved were appreciative and said thank you to him. He bid them good night and warned them to walk carefully in groups. Alex was resting in the abandoned home where he spent his nights, two nights following his heroic rescue. On the first floor, he abruptly heard some footsteps and then a voice. Alex thought he was hallucinating because he frequently experienced them after consuming too much alcohol. Therefore, he chose not to investigate and returned to bed. Alex discovered a black box with a tiny lock when he explored the deserted house in the morning after waking up. The lock might be broken, but he didn't bother because he didn't care what was inside the box. He chose to sell the box because he was used to selling the majority of gifts that people brought him. Nick approached him and paid $50 for the package. Nick went back to where Alex was begging a few hours later. Bring me the location where you discovered the box, now, Nick yelled indignantly. Nick was driven there by Alex. They discovered the two lads crying and upset when they got to the abandoned building. Hey, you rascal, find out why they're sobbing, Nicholas yelled at Alex. The male started making excuses to Alex. He was informed that although they had planned to deliver the package to him personally, they'd found him dozing off the night before and didn't want to wake him. The guy said, we left a box here, but it appears someone has taken it. They said, we just wanted to make you happy since we know you could be lonely. Alex and the boys were left behind as Nick went to his car to retrieve the box. The lads were eager to see it and inquired of Alex if he liked what was inside. Certainly, sure, I'm grateful, Alex lied. Nick and the kids soon departed the empty house. But Alex stayed behind to watch the box. When he opened it, he was horrified by what he discovered inside. A little New Year's tree, some food, a ton of warm clothing, and Christmas ornaments and toys were all present. On the box's base, there was a message and a present box. We noticed how impoverished and alone you were. However, you saved us from hooligans two days ago close to our school, and we are incredibly appreciative, read the letter. Unexpectedly, Alex could not remember saving the guys from hecklers. He grinned nonetheless as he went on to read the letter. In our letter to Santa, we begged him not to bring us gifts because of this. Instead, we requested that he bring gifts to you, the letter carried on. The lads also mentioned that their parents had informed them that Santa was unable to locate Alex to deliver the box to him and had urged them to deliver it to him personally. We have no doubts that you're a nice man and that you merited it. Happy holidays and a prosperous new year. I hope these presents will help you feel less alone. Kyle and Steve Hendricks ended in their added signatures. Alex discovered a new music player and a portable gaming system when he opened the gift box. On the parcel, he also noticed the words, Merry Christmas, Kyle and Steve. In addition to the warm clothes and other items the guys handed him, he learned that they'd also given him their Christmas gifts. Alex broke down and started crying. He went into a store with the $50 Nick had given him for the box and bought Kyle and Steve some small toys, chocolate and treats. One of the jackets they gave him, he discovered their home address. 
The address for a buddy was scribbled by Kyle and Steve's father, but he forgot to put it inside the jacket. With the presents he'd purchased for them, Alex walked to the address. He put a note with the gift and dropped it off in front of their door. I owe you guys my life. I'm grateful, read the note. The kindness shown to Alex by Kyle and Steve inspired him, and he gradually altered the way of his life. He stopped drinking and stayed sober. He eventually secured employment as a security guard at a warehouse. He constantly showed kindness to others and offered assistance when he could. Although Alex had a terrible history due to his alcoholism, his experience with the two boys had given him a new outlook on life, and he was determined to make the most of his second chance. Be kind to strangers. Alex always received gifts from strangers. He saved the two boys from hooligans despite not knowing them. Also, Nick knew the box's significance and returned it to Alex despite paying him for it. Avoid drugs and alcohol. Alex found himself in that sort of situation because of his alcohol addiction. He was a nice man, but he couldn't sort out his life because of the bottle. He eventually found a way out, thanks to the boys. However, not everyone's that lucky. In another story, another homeless man shows that the kindness of humanity he got rewarded in return. A homeless man was rewarded handsomely for standing in the pouring rain to secure a stranger's $400. James John McGowan saw a car window had been left open and the money in a bag had been placed in full view while he was waiting outside a court in Glasgow. He waited for the owner of the car to return for two and a half hours outside before delivering the luggage to a neighboring law office. An appreciative John McMonagall from Clyde Bank, who was in court with his colleague Alicia Orford as a witness, called the deed wonderful and made the decision to launch a GoFundMe campaign to gather money for James. Homeless James saw the handbag and the window open, the man said. He waited for two and a half hours in the freezing rain to make sure no one got into my car. He took the bag and searched through it to see if there was any ID because he was so chilly. James handed the bag to the solicitor's receptionist when he couldn't find any identification, and she immediately called the police. Mr. McMonagall continued, This man is homeless, alcoholic, and an incredible gentleman. We were even joking around when he realized that I support a different Glasgow team than he does, saying, If I knew that, I would have took the bag. More than 4,000 pounds has been raised for James, thanks to the hundreds of donations made to the online campaign thus far. The campaign states that money is being raised for James and homeless persons in Glasgow and Clyde Bank. The money will be given to John McMonagall to use for the aforementioned purposes. The first £5,000 will go to James alone. Julie Elliott, a donor, questioned how anyone could refuse to aid an honest person in need. Happy holidays and best wishes for a successful future. It's really comforting to know that there are still kind folks with wonderful hearts out there wrote Julie Brooks, I hope this influences a change in his life. This is a great narrative of kindness in the lead-up to Christmas, a GoFundMe spokesperson stated. This year, GoFundMe has featured thousands of heartwarming tales of people lending a helping hand, and it's amazing to see how James has inspired such support. Generous people are happier and healthier, yet acts of kindness are often met with suspicion and scorn. There are many possible reasons why acting selflessly may soothe the body and mind in these ways. Giving to others can increase your social connection, who isn't grateful after they've received a nice present, and your sense of purpose in life. You feel like you've made a difference, and there's a point in getting out of bed in the morning. Given that humans are social animals, this may be part of our evolved nature. Start with something in your comfort zone, maybe just smiling at someone in the street or talking nicely to shop assistants. Well, friends, this is the end of this incredible story. We hope, as always, that it's been to your liking. If you liked it, give us a like, leave us your valuable comment, share on your social networks, subscribe to our channel, and activate the notification bell so that you're always notified when we have a new video. And in this way, you don't miss any of our stories. For now, we only have to invite you to join us in the next one.